Now, the last SEA Games was held in Singapore 22 years ago in 1993. And that was also the year Singapore achieved its best ever showing in the SEA Games, finishing with 50 gold medals, 40 silver, and 74 bronze medals. Now, here with me are some of the former athletes from the class of 93, Melanie Martins, as well as Sue Shoher and his daughter, Savannah Sue. Hi, guys, and thank you for coming down to our hangout. Hey, pleasure to be here. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Thank you. And it's so great to be part of the, of the whole celebration now, and uh, also to be here with Savannah. We really had time to come together. Yeah. Awesome. So one of the more memorable medals was won in '93, and that was the women's hockey gold. Yeah. Right. So that remains the only gold medal ever won by Singapore in hockey in both the men's and women's competition, and leading that team was Melanie Martins. So Melanie, tell us what the experience was like. Well, um, if we're still talking about it today, uh, and I can remember every every moment of it, then obviously really, I think memorable is just an understatement, but um, it was all the more memorable because no one expected us to win. And um, it was a two year preparation. And we moved from self-doubt to confidence to no matter what anyone else said we still had that vision of what we wanted to be um yeah you never forget all the experiences uh, more than just the winning of the gold medal but all the experiences that led up to it so awesome i suppose uh, memorable yeah i can't find the words yet but i can remember every single moment of it okay so i was told that the day you guys played you had a lot of support from Singaporeans from the surrounding HDB blocks. Can you tell us that story? Yeah, sure, because um, it, we were training at Delta Sports Complex and um, the uncles and aunties who used to uh, do Tai Chi there, the people who stayed in the blocks of flats used to watch us train and we'd come and train till uh, late hours of the night, uh, 9 p.m., 10 p.m., go back home. Uh, sometimes we'd go off to the hawker center for food. So when we were playing, um, People were cheering and they were hanging Singapore flags from the flats uh, that were surrounding Delta. And the thing about Delta is that because it's um, enclosed, you've got a set of flats on one side, another building on the other side. So when people cheered, the sound just went around the stadium. And it wasn't just the sound, you know, it was, it was the energy. Uh, and whilst we were trained not to pay attention to the crowd, this, this energy uh, just made you want to run faster, uh, tackle harder. Um, I think... Uh, you know, when I go and watch Singapore play Malaysia uh, recently at the AFC Cup, I felt that same energy. So, you know, if Singaporeans really want to know what it's all about, right, go out and, and support. Go out and support all the teams at the SEA Games. Then you'll know what it means to, to belong to, to a team, belong to a family, uh, what it means to be Singaporean. And, and that's what I felt on that, on, that, on that night. And I feel it every time I'm out at the National Stadium, every time I'm cheering a Singapore team. Awesome, that's amazing. So would you say that was a really big factor in helping the team create history? Yeah, of course. It was like the, they were the 12th man and more than the 12th man, they were, it was this energy. They, they, they just inspired you to be better, to, I, I could feel that those people in the stands and in the flats, right, they wanted to be out there on the field, but they, they couldn't. So they lent their voice, they lent their energy. Um, you could just feel this energy. It was palpable. You can't, you can't touch it, you can't feel it, you know, it's not tangible, but you can actually just, it was an energy that moved you along. So you get caught up in it and we just played beyond ourselves. And I think Malaysia was so surprised by our intensity. Yeah, yes, 1993, what a year. What a year. So Singaporeans, come on down and support your team, Singapore athletes. Thank you very much, wait, Melanie. Wait, wait. I've got two friends in the background that I brought from 1993. They're over there, cheer, quick cheer. Yeah, okay, yes. Su Chin and Don, thank you. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Thank you, Melanie. And also here with us is our father and daughter team. So this is 1993 SEA Games sailing gold medalist Su Shoha and his daughter, national sailor Savannah Su. Now, Shoha, tell us, what was your SEA Games experience like? Well, incidentally, uh, when Singapore held the 1983 SEA Games, uh, that was my first SEA Games gold medal. And uh, 93, uh, we've a different partner, Charles, uh, Charles Lim, uh, who just fresh back uh, from UK. Uh, and then we work uh, for six months. And then 93 C game, we got uh, 470 gold medal. 
this is my fourth gold medal for the SEA Games. And uh, well, Savannah uh, won her first SEA Games gold medal in Myanmar. Uh, that is in a 420 class. And then, of, of course, also Asian Games uh, gold medal also in a 420 class. But at, uh, this year, she stepped over to the 470 class, my pet event, and she won the selection trial. So now I'm gunning for her for the SEA Games this year. <laughs> Thank you. Clearly a very proud father. Are you really glad that she's following in your footsteps? Well, uh, at the same time, I'm a little sad because she has to compensate her study, uh, a, a lot of study time for the sport. She effectively, for her A-level, uh, including 0-3, uh, 1-3, and uh, last year, I think we had together, she only got nine months to prepare for the A-level. <laughs> and, uh, and, and she got a world championship, which she came runner-up. And then the Asian game, she got a go. But when she come back, she had five weeks for the A-level. So when she cleared the, the exam, we were so happy for her. But she was crying non-stop until we reached home. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. My goodness, must be really stressful. But let me just turn my attention to Savannah. You're a sailor just like your father. So how were you inspired by his success? I think, like, it definitely pushes me to work harder because... Um, my dad is like a role model for me and he has been always there to help like support my sailing career and he helps me like when I just moved up to the 470 he was always there to like teach me how to work the new boat and I think like because of that it really shortened the time taken for me to like do well in the boat yeah so I think without his help I wouldn't have been able to qualify for the sea games like as well as I did, yeah, so really very thankful because uh, I had a really, really short time to prepare for 470 for the trials, yeah, so it was definitely all his years of experience and knowledge that he passed on to me that helped.